Hi everybody, Simon here again from the Cooper's Strip Club and today we're going to save this endangered Tui bench. It's um, dug out of a garden and it's gone really really silver, starting to mould up and all sorts of things and um, so a lot of these sort of things around and how do you deal with them. So I did this about 20 minutes, half an hour ago and I did a little bit last night on the bottom of the seat to work out that one, that's the real harsh one. So let's, let me show you how we grain enhance. So we'll get into this. So isn't that a cute bird? So, I'll just bring it over this. Just here. This is our grain enhancer. It's a, not to be confused with sugar, this is not something you want in your coffee. So, we put in there a couple of thrill scientific, a couple of three spoons, boiling water straight out of the jug, not, not warm out of tap, boiling, okay? And it instantly dissolves. And you want it nice and strong for this type of project. And um, I'm going to put it on the seat first because the seat is the one I was doing this last night to have a bit of a play on it. it the seat's the one that's got the real harshness on. The sort of applications this is good for is uh, decks. If you've got a silver deck, we've even got a bit of plant life here. So, so we basically brush this on and uh, the grain enhancer is going to deal with the black. It's really good on, um, like on floors where you get rust marks, um, water marks, all those sort of things. A lot of people have got pergolas that have um, gone silver and they may not want the silver. They may, may want to have a wood stain on there and so they've got to get rid of all that first. And this is what this is really good for. The um, seat part is going to take way longer for it to work than on the sides where the water's run off all those years. Hi Simon, did you mention front doors and garage doors where they go to lap, especially down the bottom parts? Absolutely, yeah. They're um, on, on your door, front doors, you often get that um, silvering down the bottom where the weather's hit. Uh, when you do the stripping, with our normal stripping system, often the black and all that comes away with it. So you don't just, you don't necessarily have to grain enhance. Um, it's it just as if you've got it left over. So. That's a bit of stuff I'll get off that the old fashioned way. First discovered this on a, I was doing a French door and a drip went onto a silver deck and where the drip went it went all golden. So I realised that oh, this is something that could be used to our benefit. Now, Okay, so that's there on. And how long these things take just depends on the damage that it's got. So we're just going to do the back here. It's quite a, you'll see these other ones, they work way faster. This is also good, the stuff for getting rid of um, tarnish on brass and copper. It's quite amazing. So it's fine on all 
Yep. That cedar will the yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, because there's water involved, there will be, uh, in some cases, slight grain raising, um, depending on the timber and what damages it's sustained. This is a sort of a, a repair method. This is where something has been neglected and needs to be dealt to. So when you use water in, a, in the system, there's always going to be um, grain raising. Yeah. You'll see the golden starts to come through. Another common place where places go black is on windows. Um, especially notice it on aluminium windows where you've got the wooden frame and in the corners where it goes black. This could be used beautifully here too. Isn't she clever? That's very right. The um, windows, absolutely. Especially on the horizontal where the water's been sitting on the sash for years and years. You strip it and flush it and then you find there's a, 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 a black grey uh, line along where the glass touches the sash. That's often one that grain enhancing is perfect to get rid of all that. Um, okay. And um, we just keep it wet, usually about five minutes soak in most cases is good. On the seat I expect quite a lot longer. This is an uh, end grain, so water would have got deep into there over the years. So your water would have cooled off a bit now. Would it impact its performance? Probably a little bit, but it's still going to get the job done. You can see the colour change in there quite rapidly. I like it as hot as possible. If I can keep it hot, that's good. The garage doors, like you are saying before, the, a common one to be brand enhanced. Okay, so I'm just let that do its job. And we'll go back up here. Timing is, you just got to test it as you go. You can see on the end there where it's been getting on there, how it's changing its colour. So, we have a little booklet that comes in all our packs. It's our restaurant, it's our, it's our book, and there's all sorts of things in here. This is online on our uh, website, coopers.com. What is it? No, it's not. Cooperstripclub.com. I thought there was something missing. And um, you can go there and you can actually download this book. And um, on page six, there's a whole section on grain enhancing. So what we've done so far is we've mixed it, we've bathed it, and now we're gonna give it a scrub. So let's um, do a bit of that and see what we've achieved. Um, so I'm gonna use my good old trusty, these are the copper, Detail brushes, I wouldn't want to use the brass ones, they're a bit too coarse. And so definitely not steal wool in this conversation. No, if you steal wool outside on this sort of outdoor type of thing, bits of metal will get caught and they'll cause black brass marks, which is not a good look. You can see the the um, goo coming out. And you might see there a bit of writing, sort of thing, an M and a D. And I know that it stands for, it stands for Mark Dimmock. Dimmock, Dimmock. And he's an artist from Ekatahuna. And he's um, 
does, he does this sort of thing here, but he's way more than the, the woodwork. Looking around, I've got the, the little king. And sometimes you'll see, if you're in New Zealand, some of Mark's work at the at craft shows and different different art things. Here's one of his we picked up a few years ago. He does all sorts of interesting, crazy stuff. And he's got a gallery down in Ekatahuna. There's a plug for you, Mark. So, back on to the to the work. As this gets clogged up a bit, what I will do is um, give this a smack on something solid, a little bit of wood will come out of here out of camera shot. And just hear me doing it. Most of the goo comes falling out. If it's um, getting a bit dry, just wet it up again. Don't, it's easier to scrub a surface that's wet. So again, if you know anyone who might be interested in seeing these videos that we're making, if you share it with them, that'd be great. Any things you want to see getting restored, just send us a comment, email us, whatever you want to do. We're always hunting for items to show you. you can imagine if you are trying to sand this. So this is Macrocarpa, if anyone's interested in the wood. Okay, um, just give that a, another little quick wet up while we're on the side. When I did the piece on the bottom last night, there's, there was still quite a bit of black and green and stuff, so I put a second lot on and I actually left it overnight. And then this morning I gave it a quick scrub up and it was all golden, so you just leave it as long as it needs. You generally find anything where the water runs off, like the back here, it comes up pretty fast. So this one where it's had a little longer to get exposed. You can see how that works just a bit much quicker. When you start any project, test your timings out. Don't go and put it all over the whole project before you've worked out the lay of the land. And now about ready to go on to the, I'll just do the bit on the bottom.
Now, as always, the wet colour is the finish colour. So as you see the rinsing coming up soon, it's going to show you what it would look like. You can choose to stop it at any stage you want. We have a Quila um, outdoor furniture suite, which also sells us off, um, and we've put it on there and brought back all those rich red tones again. Mm. Yeah, the um, Quila's a very dense, hard timber, and so it's not as soft as like the macro carpa here. There's a lot of macro carpa furniture lurking around. And these magic finishes that are guaranteed to last forever don't. And somewhere along the line you, you've got to do something about it. So now what I'm gonna do is give this a quick rinse, put some more on the on the bottom there. So the, the next part of the guide is the bathing and I'll get the guide to show you. So so this is um, the rinse part number four. So we're going to brush on some boiling water onto the surface and then we're going to give it a scrub with a brush or our grip pads and we'll see what we get. So I've got this as a, a clean container and rags. You can see the where it had the long soak last night over to just what we've done now. You can see how, I mean, some people might like that and go, yeah, I'm happy with that. Other people might go, no, no, I want it to look like the golden one. So, clean brush. So the idea is that the white crystals from the grain harness I put on at the start, they will, um, if, they, if you just leave it to dry, the um, crystals will form like a white powder on the surface. And you want to sort of get rid of that. So, put it on here. Look at those little squeegees, Dory, that blue handle ones. Sometimes I find a, um, a squeegee for like cleaning the shower or something can have a part here and I'll see if we can just locate one. So you can see how this brushing is bringing that all out. This is coming out better than I was imagining for the first round. So remember this, what I'm putting on now is just boiling water. Sometimes too, we'll grab one of our grip pads that you see us using on normal stripping projects, and that 
and also be of assistance just at this last part. They clog with this sort of project quite quickly, so if you use them too early in the piece, you'll just go through lots of them. So I just want to pull it out at that point. Now, before it's all dries, um, Doris sacrificing one of her towels. Let's just wipe that off. So this is perfectly all right. Sometimes, like I say, if you have a, a squeegee, it can do the job. That's actually pretty good. So if you remember what it looked like before, that's a pretty big transformation right there and then. So we'll finish off our little booty back. And So a person could get a bench like this, a couple of hours, have it all done. And if you think of the alternatives, that's, a, that's liquid lightning in time. If you were to try and sand something like this, you'd take forever. And there's a reality too, is that as things get weathered, the wood actually acclimatizes to that type of environment and the outer layers of wood actually harden up. So if you sand that all away, you're actually creating the softening everything up again. Yeah, there's no pre-treatment. This just came straight out of the garden. And like I said, two hours later you have it all good for a new finish. Which is anything you want it to be. Or well, you could just leave it again, couldn't you? If you want. If a person wants to let it Silver off, what we'd say to them is um, mold treat it two or three times a year, put the um, garden hose on one of those um, plastic bottles of mold colory stuff that you see out there, and you just give it a squirt. The problem with this one is it's actually not just silver, it's mold as well. So this one's been dealing with both. So that's the back, and then the side. Just to rinse 
surface clean. This is a little bit like the flushing we do when we do our stripping, but in this case we're just using water. The water is what we dissolve the crystals in to start with, and there's already water on it. In this case this actually hasn't been any grain raising, which is really good news. So there won't be any of that stuff to sort out. So there's many, many, many applications for this when you find yourself with this sort of job. And it's pretty amazing stuff. So again, what's called is grain enhancing. And you can see where these little drips have gone down, how it's goldened up. So that's a pretty big transformation. That seat, I wasn't expecting quite uh, all that to come out in one hut. There's still bits of black in there, so off camera I'm going to put some more on there so it'll, it'll be better again. But for a first round that was pretty amazing. And again, you can see the gold bits on that end, if that camera can see it. Now, tomorrow we would normally be back again at the same approximate time. Uh, we're not, because we're off to a home show and I don't think there's any Wi-Fi signal and it's a concrete block. So no point tuning in tomorrow, because we won't be. Uh, but we'll be back, what is it? Mm, what is it? Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Four days time. So we're going into a weekend. So um, yeah, we'll be back at the same time. Find something interesting to show you on again. And um, we hope you've enjoyed. Oh, what is it here? Uh, bloopers that you put in later. Um, we hope you enjoyed the show. Cheers. Have a great day or evening, wherever you are. <laughs>